I'm Mike Prangley. Now we have a lot to share with you today. First up, an opportunity for a new career. Maybe you're looking for something new. We found something. Are your recent graduate that's weighing their options earlier? Jordan, you got to check this out. She went out to Tulsa Welding School to learn about some of the new options for people looking to get into the trades. Man, lots of excitement here at Tulsa Welding School. Let me introduce you to Michael Cole. He's the regional uh, campus president. Yep. And April is National Welding Month. Who would have thought? <laughs> Welcome. So let's talk. Thank you so much. Uh, Talk about welding and why it's such a great profession and why it's in high demand right now. Well, I think we've got a lot of things going on with rebuilding and all the infrastructure that's been launched for, uh, for the national environment. The other thing is we've had an older workforce, so we're right. watching a lot of retirements go on right now. By 2024, there's going to be about 400,000 positions. Wow. Involved. So great position, great opportunities out there. Students can earn a lot of money. Uh, lots of different ways to do the welding too. So they can be local, they can travel, they can do shutdowns. So a lot of really cool things that they can do. So I think that helps make the profession yeah. pretty interesting. It sounds right like now. a lot of options and a lot of opportunities. So Absolutely. tell us about the program, how long it takes, and what type of welding you offer here. So our students can get finished in the program in as little as seven months. If okay. they choose to do the pipe fitting option, it ends up being 10 months. Uh, they can do any of the types of welding that are offered. We do a lot of the pipe welding. We do uh, some stick welding here. We also do TIG and we do a lot of MIG and flux core. So in Jacksonville, a lot of things, are particularly in shipbuilding, we have opportunities there. We work with a lot of the major vendors, a lot of the major clients in the military as well. Right. So uh, our students immediately out of our school get an opportunity to go start working on those things. Okay. And this is really neat. Virtual reality. They can learn that way? They can. Tell they us can. About that. So during COVID, we needed to find a way when the labs were closed for our students to kind of keep those muscle memory skills and do those things. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, virtual reality is not going to replace the sparks and the smell, right. but it does allow for them to get the muscle memory while they're at home. So they can take what they've been doing for the time that they've been in class, go home, kind of practice it, gives them a very good sense of reality of what's going on. And it also helps with the safety of it. It allows right. the students to kind of get a chance to practice doing it before they come in and play with the fire, so to speak. You know, that's one of the good things that came out of COVID, right? Different opportunities like that. Absolutely. That's pretty neat. May 3rd is also National Skilled Trades Profession Day. So you do offer other opportunities in that field. So tell us about that. Absolutely. Even though we're just Tulsa Welding School, right. we have an electrician pro electrical program and an HVAC program as well. And I think we can all appreciate being in Florida how much we need HVAC. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're already April and we're already having 90 degree days, right? So mm -hmm. we allow our students to come in and get an opportunity also in seven months to learn some basics in HVAC and uh, heat pumps and things of that nature. Right. Uh, again, an essential thing that we found in COVID, one of the things that stayed open. And then electric, electrical, I think, speaks for itself. Everything right. we use uh, revolves around electricity. And as we know, going forward, lots of initiatives to get us more electrical. So we're trying to make sure our students have an opportunity to kind of learn for the jobs that exist now, but also learn for the jobs that are going to come in the future, like smart homes, electric oh, yeah. cars, and things of that nature. Too. Just going to keep getting better and better, right? Absolutely. So if a student wants to do both options, is that available? Absolutely. We actually have a lot of students, particularly our veteran students, that take advantage of, the, of that ability. So they come and they'll do the welding, and then they'll do electrical, and then they'll do the HVAC. Gives them a lot of trades in their, in their Cool kit, and toolbox, so to speak. Oh yeah. Pardon the pun. And uh, it allows for them to, you know, really diversify and figure out what they want to do as well. That's wonderful. Well, if someone is interested, where can we go for more information? Of course, you can go to www.tws.edu, and that'll give you all the information on our program, a lot of information about our school in general, and we'd love to have you come visit us. Wonderful. Well, thank you again for having me. This is so cool. I've never been able to see anything like this in person. Maybe in movies. Uh, yeah, but. there you go. Flash cam. Right? <laughs> yeah, so thanks again. And <laughs> if you'd course. like to see this interview again, just head to our website, firstcoastliving.net.